Are you going to see Top Gun Maverick? Um, no. <laughs> but you love Tom Cruise so much. No, I don't. He's your favorite. Him and Dwayne Johnson are your two favorite actors of all time. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I left one out. I just... There's somebody else you love even more. Uh, Toby Maguire. You're going to make me have an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's of Corbin. I'm Rick. And he follows Instagram, Instagram Twitter, 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 Okay. Non-linear as far as the story? I don't know. That's just that's what it says. And single shot like there's a there's a there's a there's a there's a Russian film. What's that called? Oh man, I know the name of it. There's a there's a I haven't seen it. I need to see it. A friend someone just recently told me that I need to see this film called uh Russian Ark. Because of the entire film is a single shot. Russian Ark. Have you seen it? This is the official teaser directed by, forgive me for mispronouncing the name, uh, Radhakrishnan Parthaban. It's an Arhaman musical. It is the latest creation from new wave filmmaker Mr. Radhakrishnan Parthaban. It runs for 100 minutes and was filmed uniquely in a single shot. I yes. love it. It's a single shot film. Up until now, in the world of cinema, the screenplay of single-shot films has been spun based on upcoming or linear events in a story. But Irvan Nizal, Shadow of the Night, will be the world's first non-linear single-shot feature film. Um, okay, so in other words, that makes sense. Most films, or even long scenes, if you have a single shot, it's linear. It's yeah. it's real time. Yeah, it's done from there to there. Non-linear will mean you do a single shot. And you know who does this? You you saw uh, Haunting of Hill House? Yeah. Mike Flanagan did that, especially in, I think it's episode eight, where they're having the funeral, and they do a single shot in the funeral home, and then they follow them, and then suddenly they're back at the old house, and it's a flashback, but it's a single shot. So you got a lot. That's of, the nonlinear so aspect got a lot of the story. Of, a lot of sets. Correct. Which I like. So they're going to do that kind of thing that Flanagan does in, in, in Hill House where single shot, no cutaway, but you're going to go nonlinear in the story. You're not just going to do a straight time space yeah. continuum. I That's do, cool. I do always love the uh, the, the challenge of, of doing single shots as long as that's not all that the film is, obviously. Right. It needs to still have substance. That's the, kind of a reason for it. That's why Hill House, that's why it works in Hill House because it's it's saved until like episode eight. And at that point, you already realize how great the series is. Yeah. And it's not done as just a thing. It actually lends to the, the actual, it's, it's, the story is what demanded yeah. it. Here we go. Nanbar. In the group photo, the group are in the Nanum, 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 Nanmatu, Nanmatu me. Okay. I like all the sets.
What is that? Is that a belly? Was that a belly? Whoa. I have no idea what that that second part of that was. Some masks? Or... Is it taking place during the pandemic? Yeah, so it's a... Or is it just a mask because he's a murderer? And is that a belly? I I it I don't know if it, it looks like it could be. It looks like that could be like a belly button. But there's obviously folds and edges. And that looks that, like blood. Yeah. And obviously she was just holding her belly. Mm. Anyways. Obviously. Here's here's the hope. The hope is, as you're watching, because this is what happens in the Hill House episode, that as you're watching, you're marveling at what you're seeing, and then you get lost in the storytelling so much that you forget about the technical, mm -hmm. and then at points in the midst of it, you're just fully engrossed, and then every once in a while you go, this is still that single shot, holy crap, and then you get right back into story. Mm -hmm. and. God bless the cinematographer and the lighting crew and set design. this is and set design because this is basically a play that they've captured in a single shot. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. You have to do it like that. So that's it's also interesting. It looks like it's gonna enter kind of almost if they keep it like they do in the teaser here, like a, a kid running and that's from a different time. Yeah, I think that but was he him kind of, younger. But he kind of crosses paths with right. himself, even right. though he can't really see it. Um, and so it's gonna have to, you're gonna kind of, the, the world it builds, you can do so, that kind of stuff as long as you build that world and like you kind of establish the ground rules of this world early on um, of, of like this kind of, they can kind of cross paths. They're not really gonna know it, but that's gonna be kind of happening a lot. Yeah. It looks like each different room has a whole bunch of different cool sets. Yeah. Like, which is shout out to production teams and, and set design because that is hard work. Incredible. That's what I, I'm just, I love the idea of this, and obviously the hope is that it's it started with story, and that this is just the best way they could imagine telling the story. Mm -hmm. uh, or even maybe they didn't conceptualize it at first, and then it just got whittled down, and maybe they were thinking to themselves, "What the crap?" Because that's that's what happened when I was when I was writing Barbarian. Mm. I did not think of it. It was a two person play. Fully costumed sets, the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. Then it became a one-person play. Then it became a one-person play with nothing but an audience, an actor, a space, and sound. Mm. And I was like, this is either going to be brilliant or it's going to suck. And I, I would love to talk to them about when did that germinate? Yeah. What inspired that idea? I'm yeah. so intrigued. Yeah. Nandu, a financier, journeys through the struggles of his internal guilt while searching for his mortal rival. We follow him as if we are a reflection of his shadow, eventually leading to us to only one question. Will Nandu succeed? Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, because obviously you don't know, really know what it's about outside of he's searching for something. And then that end really confused me uh, with, I don't know what it was in the ground, and then he had a gun and a mask. So I don't really know what that means. So, I mean, what do you do? I'm just thinking on the practical side of things, and cinematographers would know far better than I would, what lens are you going to choose? Because you're going to do everything. You're going to do You're going to do zoom in, zoom out. You're going to do close-ups. You're going to do establishing far away. You're going to do l lighting differentiate. You know, clearly it's going to be a, a, a steady cam. God bless the cinematographer. Um, I wonder if they're going to do any of the... Um tricks that kind of Birdman does. Yeah, you got to kind of. Well, you can't if it's a single shot, you you can you can do you could do a, a non-linear transition in that way. Like if you go from one room to another and you just let a shadow come and blacken the screen, but that's not an edit cuz a lot of folks will edit it and it looks like a one shot and it wasn't a one shot, it was an edit. Mm -hmm. So, I bet they I can't wait. I'm really excited to see this. Yeah, I don't yeah, it would be so interesting and I don't know that anybody involved outside of our our non bar so the music's going to be impeccable. Incredible. Um but I don't know the director I I don't think I don't know any of the actors involved in this. Um but yeah, the hope is that obviously we're going to be blown away by the technical marvel that is 
how difficult it is to do something in a single shot. Yeah. Um, um, can you click on Arthur Wilson? Because that intrigues me. Just who the, this, we're looking at the credits for this, and Arthur Wilson is the DP. That's a white name. Huh. Yeah, I don't reckon. I mean, a lot of credits, which is not a surprise. He did the. Uh, Ambi Savam. The Plane, Trains, and Automobiles. Yeah. Uh, first Kamal Hassan film that we did. Yeah, a lot of credits, but I was wondering if there had been any other films that maybe I would have heard of per se. So. The the uh, poster looks pretty cool too. Here, it's going to have some element, obviously. With uh... is that the Hindu god holding, or the I don't know if it's a Hindu god. I apologize. The, the god in the back of it looks like the, uh, somebody has mm -hmm. a bunch of arms, but it looks like he's holding the gun. It does look like the gun's being held back there. Mm -hmm. By the the deity, though. That's what it looks like, doesn't yeah. it? Anyways, very intriguing. Very, very I'm intriguing. I'm hoping we get technical brilliance and some really good stories, some good acting yeah. uh, out of something like this. Because obviously if you make it done and do it well, you could have the film of the year. Yeah, if you get all three, because that's what it is. It's story, performance, and technicality. So if the technicality is off the chart, but then you add amazing story with great performances... I I'm excited. I should ask our non bar if he's seen it. I'll just text him up. Yeah. Hey. We'll just drop by. You don't even need to. You don't even need to text him. We'll just drop by. Hey, Mister Ra. Uh, <laughs> Mister Ra. <laughs> he's never coming on the channel again. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let us show. Let us know what you thought about the teaser, uh, and what should be the next Tamil film that we watch down below. Josh.